Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Anne Natero. Today we're going to do a general love read for mid-September. Keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks and doing so it charges, balances, and aligns the energy for your reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone is doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Sitting Up in My Room by Brandy. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to the song following the reading if you so choose to. First message that I heard is someone's name can be Brandy, also Brandon. And also, I'm hearing like the actual alcoholic beverage, like brandy, a brandy alcohol. I'm also he I'm hearing that somebody can be, you know, using alcohol to kind of get over their heartbreak, sorrow. This is how they're dealing with some type of grief. Because I, I did pick up the three of swords. And just as I was holding this card, it's flipped up. Okay. The four of pentacles holding on for dear life. You know, holding something close to your chest somebody's reminiscing either you or your person is reminiscing over a um it's it's, it's like a sense of i'm picking up nostalgia like somebody's thing so i'm gonna tell you in the beginning because i know a lot of people you know would like a heads up because a lot of people like i don't want to hear about anything from the past this is past energy that i'm picking up i'm not picking up anything new so this might not be your reading this week but i am if you don't want to hear about that but i am picking up this is about a past person or someone that you're still holding on to, okay? Holding on for dear life. Or someone who's still holding on to you. I feel like with the Brandy... What is this on my nail? Okay. <laughs> with the Brandy, like I said, somebody's name could be Brandon. I'm also hearing Brandon. But I'm also hearing that somebody could be drinking as a way to deal with the heartbreak and sorrow and sadness. Because there's, there's definitely some heartbreak here is what I'm picking up. Most definitely. I see healing coming. But somebody's like right in the trenches of it. Somebody's really dealing with it right now. And it's almost, mm hmm because sitting up in my room now, I'm, I'm I'm seeing the hermit card. Like, somebody is pulling back from fan, friends, family, distancing themselves because they're, they're, like, dealing with some emotional stuff. Again, this could be you or your recent to now past love interest, okay? So, let's part the deck randomly. Change the card at the bottom of the deck. We'll do the same with your clarifiers. And as always, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of these decks. So, if I get any reversals, I will read it as such. So now at the bottom of your general energy card, you have the chariot. So some of you guys could have moved away from someone because you knew it was the right thing to do. Because this is a very spiritual card. This is Major Arcana. Also, this could have been a separation during cancer season because this is Major Arcana for cancer. Also, for some of you guys, you could have a cancer person come trying to come back towards you. Specifically male. And not just because it's a male in this card, but I'm picking up a masculine energy. Even though cancer, water, and earth signs are... Um, feminine, but I'm, I'm picking up a masculine energy. So let's part the decks to get additional messages. Okay, yeah. Ooh, and I said sitting up in my room, sitting up in my room, and remember I said I seen Major Arcana the Hermit pulling back, retreating. The Four of Swords is definitely pulling back, retreating. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with the Air sign also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I mean, I heard Aquarius. So someone can have strong Aquarius placements in their chart. You can have Aquarius placements in your chart. Next card. Okay, the strength card. Yeah, somebody, has, look at this. And the strength card is looking in the direction of four swords. Somebody has to have, has had to have the strength to pull back from a situation. Nonetheless, it, it's really breaking their heart. It's really devastating is what I'm picking up. The next card I see right here is, you, you know, more water energy. Because it's somebody that you have a great deal of history with. And remember, I said nostalgia. I said that earlier in your reading, a sense of nostalgia. And look at her. She looks like she's daydreaming. She's nostalgic about their past, someone from her past. And it's says cups. That's your energy, water. Next card that I see poking out right here. Eight of cups. Again, your energy. And right now, as I'm recording this, is we're literally in the new moon in Virgo. So I feel like three days ago during or possibly three days from now, something, mm -hmm, wow, there could be some type of walking away from a situation that's like no longer fulfilling or reflecting on something that you walked away from. Because you have the Eight of Cups, that's definitely walking away from something. And then the next card that I see poking up, look at that. The World card, 
That's about travel distance. Being at a distance from someone. You could also be dealing with someone who is a different nationality than you. This is also the card of Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. So you could be dealing with those places. Also, also Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You see how she's facing the direction of the Eight of Cups? And they're bo both of their bodies is heading, you know, in a different direction. They're moving away from something. Because it's no longer fulfilling. And I know that because Cups is about emotions. And that's literally what that song is about. Sitting up in my room, can't stop thinking about you. Cups, that's, that also makes me think about tears. So somebody has been crying quite a bit about a loss of love. But I feel like if you walked away from the situation, you knew you had to. Even though it was very difficult. At the bottom of your clarifying deck, because you might have been dealing with someone who was a bit of a playboy or playgirl. Even though this is not the night. Of Pentacles, this, you, I always say with this card, you see how he's dressed. He got his little dive hat on. It's like a pimpish energy. Male or female doesn't matter. And then in the background, you got one, two, three mountains. This person could have possibly put you in third party. I'm picking that up most definitely. Because mountains are challenges and hurdles and things that you need to get over. And I feel like you're needing to get over some type of betrayal because of a third party. As we part the deck, okay, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Someone, you could have a child with this person. Because I always see this, like, this pentacle is right by her stomach area. Makes me think about a baby bump. You could have a child with this person or you could be pregnant now. Or you could have found out that a third party is pregnant. They could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, someone rising Venus. Next card I see right here is your card. Wow, your card. Look at this. The high priestess. That is Pisces. You could also be dealing with Gemini because even though this is the card of Pisces, you have Roman numeral two and it looks like the Gemini symbol. Also, first, someone's first, middle, or last initial could be B, J, C, G, or Y. I know you're asking me, like, <laughs> where do you see that at? I'm, I'm just seeing that intuitively. I'm picking that up. Also, somebody could be getting tarot readings on you. I know you're watching a tarot reading right now, but this scroll right here says tarot. So, somebody could be getting tarot readings done on you. And I, I feel like this person's asking is one of their main questions. Is they're asking if you two will reconcile if you guys will be back together. Or you could be doing this also, but I feel like you, your person could be getting tarot readings on you. The next card I see, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because they want they want to reestablish something with you. Aces are something brand new. Pentacles is something solid, a foundation. And this could also be you, vice versa. You know, this could be you also wanting to know, getting tarot readings. Of course, you're watching the reading now to see if there's going to be some type of reconciliation. The next card I see poking out right here. Five of swords. Yeah, one, two, three people here. Third party. And you have two people walking away. Two people feeling defeated. I feel like somebody just really put it all out on the table and it was just messy. And remember I said I did pick up a Gemini energy. So this is swords. So it could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I'm picking up strong Gemini energy. Or something could have went down because there was conflict. Some type of conflict could have went down during Gemini season. So, let's part the deck randomly. You see there's no particular parts here. So that we can shuffle. Nine of Cups. Wow. And you are the nine. You are Cups. Something is going to happen that's going to go in your favor. That's going to make you happy. Nine of Cups is about fulfillment. Being happy with whatever's coming towards you. And this is also, it looks like she's daydreaming. Remember the song, Sitting Up in My Room. Daydreaming about the good times. And I said nostalgia. Daydreaming about the good times. I feel like something good is actually coming towards you, though. Because Major Arcana, that's gifts from the universe. Also, Major Arcana is like something that's already destined to be on your path. And he's most certainly moving forward on the path. For some of you guys, it, this can be new love. You can have a cancer individual coming in who's going to make you happy. And this is the nine. We are in the ninth month. So you could have just met someone this month, a cancer individual. For, for some of you, I don't feel like this is for a great deal if you are. Because clearly I'm reading for, you know, thousands, but... I do feel like for some year, ooh, okay, there was some type of deception. Remember, okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, if you're dealing with air sign, this person was deceptive. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you had the five of swords, that's conflict, and then you got the seven of swords, sneaky manipulation. And I feel like you you put a halt to forward movement with this person, because the chariot upright, that's forward movement, and reverse is a halt to movement. There's like a blockage, because I feel like you found out some type of deception in regards to this person. Especially if you're dealing with an air sign. Ooh, just seeing the devil. Yeah. If you're dealing with an air sign, yeah. Yeah. You, there's blockages. 
you found out the truth and you're no longer building with this person because the ten of pentacles that's the happy home life like building a home together moving in together you know things like that if you look at it in this passage going up towards the home one two three pentacles like third party and it could have been an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Your person could have put you in a third party situation with an earth sign. Also, we are in an earthy season right now. We are in Virgo season. So you may find out in Virgo season. Yeah, you can find out during Virgo season that they were entertaining someone else. And you're going to need the strength to literally turn your back on the situation with this person. Because you see how their back is facing this Ten of Pentacles. Someone that you built a home life with or you were planning to build a home life with. You may need to turn your back on that situation. It's interesting. Sitting up in my room and then you have a home right here. So like I said, I'm, 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 look at that. Nostalgia. Daydreaming. You see I'm, how it's like a dreamy energy? Something could have also went down during Leo season also because it's the card of Leo. We just got out of Leo season. So that could have been a separation during Leo season. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> As I said it. You got strength card reverse and then you had a chariot in reverse on this side now. A black, a lack of moving forward. Because something could have happened during Leo season. You may have to move away from someone. Just seen the Emperor. Look at that again. You're keeping the same cards here. Yeah. A deception has been exposed. A break is someone who's thinking they're getting away with things, being sneaky and manipulative. But some facts and truths came towards you fast, very quickly. Also could have heard some type of rumors from a cancer. Now at the bottom of the deck, yeah, rumors. Deception, sneakiness, manipulation. Yeah, you could be, yeah. Air sign, strong air sign vibes. Let's get a general energy and a possible outcome and clarifiers for both. For Pisces, Sun, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay, yeah. Ooh. So you have the Empress in reverse. And then right here, I'm going to take this because I am seeing this. You got the Hangman in reverse. Again, this is your energy. That's why I'm taking it. Look at that. And a Nine of Swords in reverse. Came up under that. And then a three of wands. Yeah, third party for me. This is every bit of third party for me. So you have both of your cards in major arcana in reverse, okay? For your general energy, you have the empress in reverse. And then you have your energy, the hangman in reverse. But the hangman in reverse is positive because upright. This is being stuck, hanging in limbo, not seeing the truth about a situation. Like I said, I feel like some type of deception is being exposed. And you see how he's looking in the direction of the Empress? Two ways I'm seeing this. You could be, look at her. She's clearly looked like she's pregnant. You could have thought you was pregnant at one point and you weren't. Also, your person could have got someone else pregnant. And this is why the Empress would be in reverse. Because that would be somebody outside of you. Okay. And then also for some of you all, you may have felt like you were going to move forward and be this person's life partner. Because the Empress is definitely a life partner. This is a counterpart, a divine counterpart. Twin flame soulmate life partner. Spouse. It's coming up in reverse. Because guess what? Now he's seeing, he or she, you, you're seeing the truth about this situation. That forward movement may not be the best move. Because you, you're dealing with someone who's very deceptive. Look at that. This is your energy again. Five of cups in reverse. One, two, three cups right here. You find out, you guys are finding out about some third party. If you haven't found out about our it already you're going to be finding out about it. that's part of the deck and get an additional message for you yeah and this is your energy also king of cups you know cup energy male female doesn't matter this is a, some of you guys are like just barely and i'm not laughing about the situation but it's like i'm i'm laughing at the photo barely maintaining your emotions because you see how his foot is close to the edge like almost touching that water so some of you guys are coming off as aloof. You see how his facial expression is like everything is well, but deep down inside you are seething, upset, angry, hurt because of finding out about some type of betrayal. Most definitely. Let's power up the deck so that we can shuffle. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Wow, king and queen. Yeah, and this is what that's exactly what I said. You thought this person was gonna be your life partner. And then you're finding out the truth, because again, it's no longer in reverse. I mean, upright, upright, you, you're not seeing it for what it is. In reverse, you're seeing things clearly now. Yeah, and you thought that you were going to spend the rest of your life with this person. You thought this person was your life partner. This is their counterparts. And king and queen, wow. This also could be someone that you are married to. But you're seeing a truth about something going on with their behavior. Look at that. Two of swords, upright. Okay, so I'm going to turn upright. 
blindfolded, needing to make a decision, not knowing which one would decision make, being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Again, Gemini energy. Because even though it's a two of swords, this is literally looks like the Gemini symbol. So something definitely you could either be dealing with a Gemini symbol rising Venus or this could have went down during Gemini season, period. There is a lot of Gemini energy here. She's literally stuck in between two rocks, a rock and a hard place. And then you have this watery energy right here. That's you. That, that's also those emotions. Not knowing what to do. But coming up in reverse is the opposite. Knowing what to do. Becoming emotionally balanced. But right now, I feel like, like I said, I feel like somebody's going through, going through the motions. Just kind of having to feel. Having to just feel it. Having to just feel what's going on. You have the seven of wands. That's about blockages. So some of you guys could be deciding that she needs to make a decision. Some of you guys could be deciding to block someone on social media. Block them from your phone. Also defend yourself because these source, source communication, also the mental. There could be some rumors. Some type of rumors about you. and You see how she's on guard, even though she's blindfolded. And the fact that she's blindfolded, I feel like you may not have heard about these rumors yet. But I feel like they're coming because both of these cards are upright. So you may need to defend yourself against somebody's accusations or some type of assumptions. Yep, defend yourself. Look at that. You see how he has this wand? I mean, this, um, well, first of all, he is holding a wand, his tool for defense, and then he's bandaged right here. Also, something could be happening during Sagittarius season. You have wands right here that's um, fire. Sagittarius season could be a big turning point for a situation also for some of you guys. Or you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. Third party. Three of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. I feel like during this month, you're going to find out about something with um with a love interest. Okay. So that's going to clarify for the Empress and the Hangman in reverse. Page of Pentacles. Pages are always communication coming in. Messengers. Somebody could have to pay. Like, literally have to pay. And also, I'm hearing that somebody wants someone to pay. Some type of child support, alimony, some type of fees. But then I'm hearing that somebody wants somebody to pay. Like, somebody wants... Look at this. And it flipped out again. Somebody wants revenge. And just as I said, yeah, somebody wants revenge. Somebody wants revenge. Because somebody was being a player. We've seen this earlier. Page of Wands reverse. Let's get a clarifier for the hangman in reverse. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. And that's your card. Somebody wants someone to pay for the hurt. Okay. Page. You got a lot of pages. So you got a page of pentacles and a page of... Um, Swords again, some a lot of you guys are done with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I'm gonna tell you, right? I'm gonna turn it right so you can see it. The page of swords is the I spy doing some type of investigations, social media, text messages, phone call logs. And with it being reversed, it's things that you didn't want to see, but nonetheless, it's allowing you to see the truth. Now you have clarity about the situation, so you're no longer hanging in limbo. That's why it's coming up in reverse. Because there's some things that you didn't want to see. Because remember we seen that two of swords, she was blindfolded. Do you look at look at how this is? This is you, hangman. But look at him. His body is facing the hangman, but his head is turned the other way. So it's like what I'm also picking up is that some of you guys could have felt all along like something was going on, but you didn't want to see it. And that's not to say that you're a person who's in denial, but it's just like I feel like you have a history with this person because we did see that six of cups. You have history with this person. You could possibly have children with this person. You could possibly be pregnant right now. I do feel like there's children involved. And you didn't want to have to see it because you want to give this person the benefit of the doubt. But you have no choice but to see the truth for what it is. This is Major Arcana. This is not an energy that we manipulate. And as I said, the time was 1922, so that's confirmation. Okay, mirror numbers is always confirmation. Um, also, this person's mm, 1922. So somebody's birthday could be September, and we are in the ninth month. Somebody's birthday could be September 22nd. Yeah. 
And this is September 22nd. That's um, Virgo slash Libra. That's the cusp. And you do have swords right here, Libra. And wow, you got pinnacles, Virgo and Libra. Yeah, so somebody could be a cusper. A Virgo Libra cusp. Also, during this transition from Virgo to Libra season, you could be finding out some truths about a situation also. Because keep in mind, you have this um, the hangman upright. So towards the end of Virgo season, going into Libra season, like the first week, literally the first week, you could be finding some things out. It's not going to make you very happy because this card was coming up in reverse. Source, that's truth, clarity, knowledge, finding things out. Especially with this card, this investigation. And you're going to receive some truths. You see how he's holding on to that pinnacle? He's not offering something. He's receiving something. So you're going to receive some truths. And it's going to make you want to walk away from this individual or this individual walk away from you. But long story short, I feel like there's an energy of heartbreak associated with it. Because someone's going to have to walk away from someone. Nonetheless, I feel like it's going to really benefit you to know what you're possibly getting yourself into or what you would have been in long term. Because I feel like somebody wanted to marry someone. But it's like once you found out the truth, you're like, mm-mm. You're turning your back on it because look at that. On the table, this is how I was looking. You see what I'm saying? Her back is facing this. You're turning your back on it. Because you're you're seeing it for what it truly is, is what I'm picking up. Okay? So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.